Hey guys, in this video, we're going to run a demo for autopilot for Windows 10. This also applies to Windows 11. So the idea is you purchase laptops from, from a vendor or you repurpose a, a laptop and you come here under the Windows Autopilot Deployment Program under Devices. And as you can see, I already uploaded my PC that I'm going to use for autopilot. Uh, if you need to know how to upload this hash to here, I have another video. I'm going to le leave a link in the description below for it. But I already applied it or uploaded it. And I need to create a profile now that would actually do the autopilot. So this is the only step I did so far, which is uploading the device here. So in order to do the profile, I get back here and I go to deployment profiles. And I'll say create a new profile for Windows PC. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Intune Autopilot Azure only. So there are two types of deployments. One is Azure only, which the device is appearing only in Azure. And if you have an on-premise uh, domain controller and you want to do a hybrid join, I'm going to do a different video for that. But however, for this video, we're only doing it for, for Azure enrollment only. For here, I'm going to choose yes. And what this does is every time you uh, reset the PC and you, uh, to, you, you go through the out-of-box experience, the device will be recognized by Intune every time and will go through the autopilot. And this is very useful if you are doing imaging uh, uh, to, to your laptops from on-premise and such. I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to leave this as user driven. As you can see, this is an Azure AD join. There's another option for hybrid Azure AD join, but for this video, we're doing the Azure AD join. You can hide things for the user not to see. As you can see, you can choose if the user is going to be an admin or a standard user. Usually, if you're shipping it to a user, Basically, you're going to keep them standard. However, some companies do require that an admin, that a user be an admin on the machine for some softwares to run. I'm going to use this uh, operating system. I'm going to make it English, United States. Automatically configure keyboard. Apply device name template. It's up to you. You can do this if you want. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to go with the default. However, you can name, you can start the name with whatever you want. Select next. Now assign it to a group. I created in a previous video, a dynamic group that uh, catches all devices uploaded to autopilot. So I'm going to add it here. If you want to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. I called it into devices and that that basically group has that device that we uploaded. I'm going to click next and I'm going to say create. Now this device, this uh, profile is here. If we go back to uh, our device, which is here, as you can see, there's nothing assigned to it at this point. It says not assigned. Usually it takes a few minutes up to a half hour for this to be assigned. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back when it's assigned. Okay, so it took a good uh, 10 minutes for this to become assigned. If we click here, uh, you can see that the uh, assigned profile is the one we create or we created earlier. So now basically we're going to go and power on our Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine and uh, go through the autopilot program or uh, demo. In the meantime, please hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. All right, so ideally you have a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. I have it on my uh, host here, virtualized, but uh, it has to be connected to the internet before you power it on. And basically you turn it on and Intune would catch it at this moment. I'm going to pause until this starts and I'll come back when it starts. All right, so the, the basically the device is now uh, powered on because it's registered under the autopilot experience, it'll come automatically to this screen as long as you have uh, uh, the, the, uh, the device ID uh, uploaded. So now I'm basically gonna log in with the user.
Remember, this user has to have an Intune license assigned to them. And it's going to take some time. We're going to pause and just come back when it's done. It's going to take uh, some time to uh, enroll this device in MDM and uh, create the profile for the user. All right, after about 20 minutes or so, I got to here. And as you can see, the device now is uh, logged in. And we're going to go to Azure and take a look at it and see that it's actually enrolled in there. Let's just see what the device name that was given to the device. So as you can see, it's called desktop something. Now if we go back to uh, devices under Azure, as you can see, there's one device. And if we go to uh, Windows, because this is a Windows device, you can see that we have this machine already. It is not compliant, still, still not evaluated because we still did not create a compliance profile. But again, this is now basically this device is uh, registered and enrolled in Intune, and it can be managed from here, retired, wiped, deleted, anything. So that's it for this video. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.